Okay, hmm. I found some royalty free music. It's gonna play in the background. This is going to be a chill stream. I'll be peeking into the chat from time to time and talk with any visitors, but mostly it's going to be me drawing. And drinking tea. found some pretty cool references from the whole ceremony I mean the outfits are just amazing
amazing results in this AI, right? Not sure if I want to add like a an interesting hand pose maybe. Hi, Michaela. Nice to see you. Witness the masterpiece. <laughs> They're just blurry blobs. That's how I see them without my glasses. Pretty realistic. Blind bats unite. <laughs> Um, no, I didn't. I didn't really listen to any um, interviews yet, so you can update me. <laughs>
he sat at the BAFTAs, he was asked about it and he said that despite the job being long, he still feels he's not done with the character and would enjoy being a star in again. That's awesome. If it happens in the future. But I wonder, like, what will happen to the characters when they will be at the hands of uh, different people and not Larian, so can be anything at this point. I assume they can still hire the the same writers. If they would want it, would want to. Delight, as in that his legacy lives on, or <laughs> I think it would delight the fans as well, so. Uh... Wizards of the Coast would be like very, um, how should I put it? I don't want to say stupid. Well, maybe I do. They would be very stupid if they don't uh, want to um, continue with the characters. But then there's the question of if the continuation would be good enough. <laughs> <laughs> we could print money, but we're not gonna. I mean... Uh... It, it all depends. Like with, say, Mass Effect Andromeda. In my opinion, I wish it never happened. <laughs> it had some improvements regarding, like, class and battle systems. But story-wise, it was a disaster. I, I couldn't even play it. I just watched it on YouTube and I was like... And that <laughs> facial animation is just like... The memes that came out of it were iconic. At least something good came out of it is the memes. <laughs> it's good that they're your ex now. <laughs> Andromeda never happened.
know, I wish Thanos could like snap only like the shitty stuff away, but it's not how that works, I assume. Otherwise, people wouldn't have been like so mad at him and wanted to stop him. Ah, well, thanks. The blurry blob starts getting less blurry. Hmm. Well, I just, I literally entered, like, royalty-free, copyright-free <laughs> music on YouTube and, like, picked Synthwave. It, it kind of slaps, though. I wish it was, like, my playlist, but you, you can get banned really quickly for that stuff. Well, rightfully so, because, like, hell yeah, copyright, but... And RW Records. Hmm. I'll have to check it out at some point. Um, I don't think... I don't think it's the one that I currently have on. Doesn't look like it, but I'll check it out. Never realized how much Neil looks like an older, older Alistair. Hmm. Mm, maybe? Uh, I think I had the unmoded uh, Dragon Age really, 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 really long time ago, so I hardly remember how he looks without like retexture mods. So the one that I had Probably doesn't look like a uh, Neil, but but I bet he would nail his role, though.
<laughs> you took Alistair to the plastic surgeon. Well, kind of. Not only him, but like everyone. Because the game's pretty old. And honestly, in my opinion, it looked a bit more fresh with the new textures. How did you break it? Grey Warden's Armor mod. <laughs> that is now canon. Duncan showing up naked. Like a true feral hobo bearded weird fighter dude. Just unhinged. Grey Wardens are just like that. <laughs> well, um, what happens if you delete the mod? Or you didn't get to try it? It's it's the dark spawn blood keeps him safe. Armor is for rookies. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's probably has the mod maybe piddled with some like core files and replace them permanently so in the game can't, can't compile the way you should. Okay. I'm super yellow <clears throat> for some reason. Need to fix that. Should be better. It's because my light that I use I, is just a basic ass IKEA lamp and it's like yellow. And as the sun goes away, it becomes more dominant and more yellow, so I'll have to readjust like white balance and all that jazz. I had. Well, I'll still have two 
LED ring lights back home, but they're back home. Can't really get my hands on those. And it's a struggle to have only like laptop um, monitor, but it's better than having nothing. <laughs> so, because I'm used to having like a big screen to paint on. My dream is to have like two really really big curved curved ones, like curved screens to like put all the windows that I want up. And this like feeling like the hacker man or something. <laughs> Netrunner, exactly. Something like that. Um, I don't think the mods are fast at approving stuff, but I might upload the recording later on and maybe post that one, but I don't know. I'll do some kind of a speed, uh, sped up version maybe, or just the usual like slideshow that I do for work in progress stuff so that people wouldn't suffer through just <laughs> me chiseling away at the grayscale screen.
So does yours. <laughs> Only art that does not deserve love is AI art. Because fuck that shit. You should. You should definitely stream it. Do you attend many conventions or is it like um, personal uh, photo session commissions or just uh, retouch commissions? Or all of it. Oh, 20 cons in a year? Holy shit. <clears throat> That's a lot. Yeah. I mean, if your body doesn't allow you to do as much as you could before, yeah. That's something that you unfortunately need to take into account. But hopefully it will.
What's up? <laughs> That's a loud entrance. <laughs> Well, still, big events like this are definitely draining, so... And I can only imagine how draining it can be, like, if you have condition. So... You're doing the good work! And especially if like things involve flights and other shit, so taxing. That was a really good photo. Feel free to disappear. I mean, all of us have lives, you know, and this is not the most entertaining thing in the world. Not very dynamic. But um, feel free to pop up whenever. Oh, well, that's good to hear.
Because nowadays people are really used to like super fast type of content, I guess. Like TikToks, whatever. You spend like 10 seconds epically showing a drawing and you scroll past it. And I'm just, I'm not in a hurry here. <laughs> this is gonna take some time. This royalty-free, copyright-free playlist kind of slaps. Oh, she does. That's lovely. Art streamers unite. I do sometimes, <laughs> but I'm super silent. I really love your um, cyber witch work. Correct me if I'm wrong about naming the your your project, but that's just like. One of my favorites, favorite designs of a witch probably ever. Now Mikael is going to come to your streams as well. <laughs> See?
sometimes I have a hallucination that somebody is knocking at my door. But... Usually I imagine it. Phantom vibrations in your pocket. What? For like messages or? <laughs> I see. I think I actually had that happen. But, some, but more often I had um, like a case where I'm literally holding my phone or doing something on my phone and then I think like I either check the pocket or something where my phone is and it's not there. And I'm like, holy shit, somebody stole my phone or I lost it. Where can it be, I wonder? In my hands. How'd you call it, like, electric meatball? It's probably having, like, a short circuit or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a very like Swedish thing to say. Electric meatball. Attack of electric meatballs. Something is definitely going on outside. I used to live um, pretty high up. Um, like on, on the second to last floor. And now I live... <laughs> Like, on the very first floor, or what's it called, a zero ground floor? I just, I don't, um, um, I often confuse how different cultures, 
recall the like the very the very first floor of the building um, and my entrance like goes directly outside so it doesn't have like a hole or something like that um, and so I'm often like anxious and suspicious Just the thought how it's comforting and nice to watch an, an artist work and how with AI there is none of that. Yeah, I agree. It's just like... I wonder if people actually like, stream doing AI stuff. Probably not. Because most of them don't want to like admit or show that they are using AI constantly. Like, how would you stream AI? Just, like, sit in there prompting? <laughs> hmm, I wonder. I should use... Um... In style of... Gustav Klimt or something. <laughs> or in style of Salvador Dali. <laughs> Which solution should I pick right now? Or should I add trending on our, on our art station? Stolen prompts, oh my god. Well, I mean, it's such a circus at this point. We have to liberate art and make it accessible for absolutely everyone. Stop gatekeeping. Someone stole my prompt, oh my god. Ah, throws a tantrum and dies. Or like, guys, how can I copyright my prompts? Or like, this person on Twitter used my prompt and got this result and they have like 10,000 likes. But I, the inventor of the prompt, only got 5 likes. This is unfair. Psst. No, that really sucks if you can't like hold a pen and stylus. But that's actually like the argument that many of the people keep like bringing up in a sense of like AI makes art more accessible to disabled people. But like I've seen videos of people painting stuff literally with their like teeth by having no hands at all to paint or even like no feet to paint but it's like it's interesting that you also hate AI <laughs> actually yeah <laughs> I've mostly seen yeah people who like seem healthy say that But like, if, if they're not disabled, why do they advocate for UI? Uh, UI? AI then? That's very admirable, you know, like uh, when a person still continues doing what they love and being like simultaneously really good at it. Cat paws. CMT type muscular dystrophy. 
I heard about it, I think. Anyway, I think I should move on to, to draw some outfit, because, like, this feels like a floating head currently. I'm focusing too much on the face currently while I don't yet want to do this. So I'm going to do some like rough definement and then move on. It feels kind of surreal to be streaming art again, because I haven't done that in like a long, long time. It feels nice. I want to try to convey this like fluid ish motion of like neck slowly going like downwards into the chest, being framed by these. Um, what are they called in English? Like edges of the <laughs> of the jacket. I'm yellow again. This is so distracting. Come on, camera, you can do better. Laples. Okay. Um. <laughs> hey guys, we're getting there. We, we got a promoter. <laughs> Mom, I'm famous.
Do you guys also get like messages on Instagram like constantly from different accounts, but mostly for some reason ones that are based in India that are like we want to make you our ambassador. Please follow our brand and like send us a message because we want to send you some stuff to promote. Blah blah blah. And I'm like I haven't posted in like six months or something. And like this is just, just such a cheap shot I feel like. I guess some people might be like very happy about it and like cause, cause um, especially those who are like trying to get brand deals and stuff like that. But it's so obviously fake. <laughs> and I think I actually read that many of those accounts um, actually do promote some kind of type of goods, but um, they actually want you to pay for it. And then like, well, buy it and then sort of like promote it on your account. So. Oh yeah, jewelry, um, clothing, makeup, just like. Well, like actual brand deals, I would assume would happen mostly over email or something like that, or the brand will actually contact you through like the uh, verified account or something along those lines. But I think you can get your account like verified pretty easily these days. So that is also not a guarantee that they are legit. Yeah, you have to be like very, 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 very big and popular for them to actually uh, message you on purpose, sort of, and um, ask for a collab, but yeah, most of the time you have to chase them.
A one meter diameter ring light. Holy shit. That's huge. No wonder it gives you migraines. But yeah, if you kind of put it sort of directly in front of your face, I remember I also felt like it was very uncomfortable because you're almost staring directly at it. Especially if it's like closer-ish. So... It's so much better to have like a soft box, but... It's bulky and you actually need most likely a proper studio to have like really good proper lightning that's not gonna... Lighting, not lightning. That's not gonna mess up your eyes and shit. I kind of want to add, like, pointy-ish shoulders to it. They already look kind of pointy, but I want to amplify it. Darkish game like Hunt Showdown. Um, you mean it would like reflect your screen or something like that? <laughs> it's so fun to see it like this. Or even like this. Kinda painted over the first, the most blobbish version of it, so can't go further than that. <laughs> Did you stretch your pillowcase over it or something?
I mean... It doesn't look bad. <laughs> Does it work? <laughs> And I totally love your monitor setup. <laughs> True Netrunner. It actually can be a fire hazard. Because... I don't know if it's the same. I don't want to say who it happened to, just in case this person gets in trouble. But I doubt that the information will be so viral that we're gonna reach certain people. But like at some point, they stayed at the um, like an Airbnb, and something happened that they couldn't like turn off the lamp or something like that. I don't remember. It was a, it was a while ago, and they put like a piece of a not a piece, but like part of the blanket basically over the lamp to sort of like cover it, dim it down, and then the blanket <laughs> caught fire. <laughs> I mean, nobody got hurt, only the blanket. It had like a, a tiny like burned hole in it or something. But um, just probably don't keep stuff that is not supposed to be like over the lamp that gets hot so just to be on the safer side Well, if it's not hot light, then perhaps the chances of it getting catching fire is um, are lower. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe there's going to be like an electric spark or something. I don't know. If it's a short period of time, I think you should be fine. But don't take my word for it. <laughs> or rather, I hope you, you will be fine. And then again, Mom, I'm famous! <laughs> Not like that.
how to set the perfect fire. Like, outside or anywhere? I kind of want to somehow make this expression on her to be able to show off her um, silver fangs. That was a really cool detail of her look, but I don't know how I will nail it because there are very... Uh, there's not many pictures of her with the <laughs> expression that I'm looking for, so... I guess both of them will be up to interpretation, not like obviously exact portraits of them, but... And her earrings are so fucking cool, I can't. Exactly, to fight it you have to know the enemy. <laughs> and also probably what not to do <laughs> if you don't want to make a fire. New Photoshop is so annoying. I'm just so used to the old ways. <laughs> that all these new like pop-ups and shit annoy me so much.
so want to like try and use something else and not Photoshop. But then it's like it's so ingrained <laughs> in my brain and my hand that I feel like it's gonna be a tough transition. Because I tried using Procreate and it's great. But I can't really explain it. Maybe I need to fiddle with like iPad um, pencil iPencil? Apple Pencil settings um, to make it better, but I don't feel the same kind of pressure that I'm used to, and it ends up being a little bit like a different type of work, if that makes sense. Not the look that I want to achieve. I guess it just <clears throat> it's a matter of getting used to it and I didn't really make myself spend enough time to get used to it and just figure out how to achieve the result that I want there instead of Photoshop. Yeah, too slippery, that's also a thing, I think. And uh, perhaps like um, this film that goes over an iPad, it makes it feel paper-like. I want to try it. Maybe that would also help. Girl, you are homeless, holy shit. That sucks. I'm glad you get out of it. Yikes. What happened, if I may ask? You, of course, don't have to say. Or you can tell me in private. All right. Ugh, 
so excited to paint this. I kind of wanted to get to the stage where it doesn't look like a potato <laughs> and then have fun with it, like with um, colors, textures, reflections, the stuff that I mostly like to do. But you have to you have to suffer through the potato stage of the drawing. And especially I'm like I'm not rushing it, I'm just vibing. <laughs> I'm just like going super slow and peeking into the chat, drinking my tea. You must potato before you can fries. Girl, this and like... <laughs> electric meatball. You're on fire. We have around an hour of music left, so I'm aiming to stream for an hour more. Ow. My butt cheeks hurt from sitting for too long. Uh, yeah. And then after an hour I will call it a day and we'll pick up hopefully soon enough. <laughs> True enough, better on fire for this than for your lighting setup. Yeah, you have a really great sense of humor.
Thanks, glad you like it. So far, I am mostly satisfied with how this is going, but we'll see. Because I can look at it tomorrow and be like, this is shit. <laughs> Maybe, maybe it is. You have like a um, Ukrainian humor settings. Finns are funny. Indeed. Um, we had a colleague at work who was a producer. Uh, he was really funny and with really good uh, music taste too. And he was a Finn. Well, still is. By was, I mean he's not working with us anymore. Fins are based too. Yeah, Finland has like a lot of super great metal bands. But I feel like that's a meme at this point. <laughs> Which is a good thing. I want to go to Finland too, but like... It's weird because it's currently like really accessible. You can just take the ferry technically. But... <laughs> I want to go, but it's not on my like priority list, unfortunately.
that sounds like a hell of a trip. Helsinki, Riga, then Stockholm, and then... Ah, oh, I misread that. <laughs> Three places still. <laughs> Ooh, and Scotland too. <gasps> I'm about to sneeze. No. I hate when that happens. It happens happened twice this week. <gasps> you feel like there's a big one coming and then nothing. <clears throat> live streaming the particle of dust <laughs> as well <laughs> that goes into the noses of my viewers <laughs> full immersion Ukraine is definitely worth the visit. Right now, though, of course, it comes with a risk. I'm excited to go to Kyiv um, at the beginning of May. Finally hang out with my parents and my friends. <sighs> but it's tough, of course. Wish I could take them all with me. Yeah, my parents, um, also a big chunk of my other relatives, um, uh, my friends, those who didn't travel elsewhere, um, my colleagues too, because I still have colleagues in Kyiv. Um, yeah, but most of my friends are scattered around the world. 
unfortunately. Well, partially, fortunately, heavy quotes, or like, with a grain of salt. Because like, I guess you can travel in a lot of places and have someone to crash at, sort of. Uh, on the couch or whatever, but it feels surreal that if you want to just hang out with the group of people that you love, you really can't because they are everywhere else. Her necklace is so cool too. I'm so eloquent. This is so cool. This is so great. This is so awesome. This is like amazing. <laughs> but you get the gist. Um, no need to apologize, I can talk about anything. It's a part of my life. Um... I mean, it, it it's not gonna go away if I'm not gonna talk about it or something like that, so... I always say, like, can we just have, like, a boring year or something? Just plain, uneventful, just vanilla, I don't know, vanilla year. Without any major historical events or, like, someone falling sick or something like that. So just, like, just a boring-ass year. to take a breath. <laughs> and deal with the stuff that we have to deal anyway. But nope. Guess not.
the tea that I'm having is um, uh, rose something something with vanilla and it's pretty good but you can have it just like once a month or something because it gets overwhelming really really fast it's like oh this is a nice smell this is a nice taste blah 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 and then after a few cups you're like I hate it <laughs> I need to chill <laughs> Because Rose is very prominent, probably. That's the fitting word for it. And can go south really quickly. <laughs> but I guess the upside of it is that you save money and um, one can lasts you really, really long. Green tea with ginger. That's based. Oh, yeah. Yep. I really like her hairstyle. I often do it myself. Like with the. What are they called? Space buns? Braid buns? Something? I don't know. It's actually really comfortable. And really playful, too. Odango? Odango? Something? <laughs> oh! I'll have to look it up, because I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Odango? Cool. Learning new things. <laughs> Thank you. 
The little cone shape also sounds pretty cool. I feel like I don't like have enough hair, like it's not thick enough to do the style that I want. So and sometimes there's like a drier hair day when it, it actually gets thicker because it's drier. And so I can pull off more like a a ball look and but most of the time it's still a little bit of a cone. <laughs> because the hair gets like more sleek, especially towards the end of the braid, if that makes sense. Maybe I should get the like the sponge what are they called? Like bun thing that you place on top and then wrap around wrap your hair around it to make it look like fuller. Thank you. Likewise. And the purple. <laughs> Wigs are so cool though, especially like colored wigs or like different hairstyle wigs. It's like because you can change your look without having to commit to it. And you don't have to like always dye your hair and stuff like that, which I personally find sometimes very tedious. That's why wigs rock.
looking at my own hand, trying to like think how I want to pose it. Because I really want to showcase her nails too. Yeah, maybe I'll think of it later. That it'd be a blob or something so far. Or maybe, just maybe. Yo, yo, Timur. Hi. Brigit. How's it going? Uh, th the girl is his wife, if I understand correctly. <laughs> Asterion's uh, voice actor's wife. Again, I'm not <laughs> cut up with the lore. <laughs> Partner? Is a better word, maybe? Don't worry, Michaela, we mispronounce names here. <laughs> Might be both, who knows?
He does, and I actually love it. I think more men should um, be less afraid to express themselves and be perceived as queer. Even if they are not. Because ain't nothing wrong with that. I actually don't really like Sam's aesthetics, to be honest. I'm not sure I even listened to their music. Well, except that, like, uber famous uh, song, Unholy, that was, like, all over. TikTok and Reels and what else is there? <laughs> Social media? But somebody said if you um, slow the um, some Adele song, it turns into Sam Smith song. <laughs> PS1 enemy type. Oh my god. I mean, slay. If that's their thing, good for them, you know. Who's nasty Gnork? <laughs> I don't understand the reference, I think. Oh, that one. I should name a uh, Dark Urge character Gnasty Gnork next time, if you like.
<laughs> Bad Tundi, oh my god. Did you um, read posts um, in Baldur's Gate 3 group by... What's his name? Nicholas Wagner or something like that? Who plays a Dark Urge character who, which looks like Whole Blender. <sighs> I'm gonna sneeze again. Or either not sneeze again. Jesus Christ, why does it keep happening? Just let the girl sneeze in peace. <clears throat> anyway, the guy who plays Dark Dark Urge and makes like really, really long posts about um, his unhinged shenanigans. <laughs> Which I first thought were kind of like deranged, but then I started finding them entertaining. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he recently posted that he finished the game and did like a recap of all the nasty things he's done. And his head cannon is apparently um, Orin being his like wife or whatever. So, dude had a wild ride. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Well, there's more than one guy simping for Orin, you know, but most of his posts include her. <laughs> I mean, I get it, but is it really worth it? I don't think so. Yeah, not not all of them are. I mean, Baldur's Gate fandom is just... It's something else. I thought I've sort of like seen everything with like Mass Effect fandom. I was wrong, clearly. People simp for like... Weirdest characters. I even saw someone simping for Wolbrun Bungle. That is probably like a unicorn. The post was something like, okay guys, hear me out. Wolbrun. And people were like, nope. <laughs> Again, I don't know what I can read and say <laughs> on Twitch. They are. They definitely are. And, like, I approve. How cool would it be to have, like, Neo... Um, in Vampire the Masquerade game, though. He 
he probably would have made like a, a really kick ass LaCroix. Because this outfit gives me like Ventru vibes. Maybe with the side of Tremir. His neck should be a bit longer and further up. this generative fail thing. I keep turning it off and it just keeps coming back. Reminded me of that uh, unhinged commercial about long, long man or something like that. For like the longest gum or candy, what was it? Uh, yeah, uh, THU, Trojan Horse was a unicorn or something like that. Um, I fucking wish I could. But it's just so gosh damn expensive. And I'm going to spend my money to... Uh, on a trip to Kiev. Which is also expensive nowadays, you know. So gotta gotta pick my battles soon. But uh, uh, that's like a dream of mine to go there someday. I've been to the IFCC one in Zagreb. It was really fun. And this is like, I guess that, but on steroids. People just keep raving about it, how good it is. 
So I really hope one day I will be able to, but not in the near future. How about you? Yeah, Prague is super great. I've been there once. Kinda wanna come back. Weird sounds again. I'm going to get an intruder on camera, just call the police. And Europe romp of holiday. Is that how your um, messenger chat is going to be called? <laughs> Uh, Timur, you can definitely give yourself a birthday gift and go to THU. But you have to send me pictures. Any pictures, you know, as long as they are from THU. Ten minutes of music left. 
that means 10 minutes of a stream, roughly. But I kind of like the point where we are leaving this off, I guess. I hope he will like it. I'm still I still have to do the sculpture of Astarian. I started it like more than a year ago when I was in Bulgaria. Then I was like going through the move and all that jazz and I was like Ain't nobody got time for that, but now I have no excuse. <laughs> The indeed character art sounds like right up my alley, so. If I'm gonna have commissions open in the near future, I will ping you. So that you would be aware. His work is so hectic for the past year and like just sitting down like this and streaming right now is just feels so relaxing for the very first time in a while.
Hmm. One last song. Still there. Construct. Well, I'm still planning to add something like of myself to this, so you will most likely have glowing eyes or something like that. We still should do an R stream together, Timur, so hopefully next week. Smolder. Aww, that's kind of mean, but 
I get it. Like when you play a fighter class, you're like, yes, I could use the potion, you know. It's a pretty good potion. All right then, so I think I'm going to call it a day. Uh, I'm gonna find more playlists, I guess, um, with music. Um, or maybe I will just put this one again, that was pretty nice. Uh, I like where this is going so far. I think on the next stream I will elaborate more on the hands. Because like in my head I don't want to... I don't want them to be like particularly static. Um, and I want to show off the nails. So... Something to think about. Um... Yeah, and hopefully we will proceed with this uh, painting. Thank you guys for keeping me company. And um, I hope you guys have a lovely evening. Or day. Or morning. Or something. Time. And hopefully see you at the next stream. Bye-bye.